Donkey Kong was such an amazing arcade game. This is a game that introduced us to unforgettable characters like Mario and Donkey Kong. It was a massive hit in the arcades, and it was directly responsible for Nintendo's early success in America. If it wasn't for the groundwork that this game laid, who knows where gaming would be today. With as popular as this game was, it's actually surprising to see just how few ROM hacks are out there when compared to other Nintendo games. Usually, when you're looking for ROM hacks of Nintendo games, you'd head on over to the good old NES. But the ROM hack selection for Donkey Kong on NES is surprisingly bare. Most of these hacks are just sprite swaps, but there are some funny ones like Pack Quest, where you play as Pac Man, or better yet, Donkey Kong Ice Cream, where you run around in an ice cream factory jumping over ice cream barrels to save your friend Irene from a giant ice cream cone. Wow! The arcade version of Donkey Kong is where all the best hacks are. Sure, you've got the same kind of graphical hacks like on NES, my favorite here on the arcade being the Atari 2600 hack, which turns the game into the notoriously bad 2600 version. But the ones I want to show you today are a lot more special than that. These were created by true Donkey Kong enthusiasts, where you can tell there's real passion behind their work. These first hacks I have for you today were created by a guy, Paul, that goes by Paul Goes. Back in 2019, Paul discovered the Donkey Kong Hacking Kit, which includes a commented disassembly of the arcade version of Donkey Kong. He used this source code to implement several of his own ideas into the game. The first one I want to show you today is called Donkey Kong Twisted Jungle. In this game, Donkey Kong has kidnapped Pauline and taken her back to his jungle. This game features five new jungle themed stages with new challenges to take on. The first level has you dodging coconuts while running around grabbing Pauline's hearts, which the hearts will spawn missing ladders, or vines here, which allow you to get through and finish the level. There's also a new elevator stage where you've got to jump from elevator to elevator and dodge worms. There's also a new level here where you've got to collect hearts while dodging snap jaws and nitpickers. These guys were originally from Donkey Kong Jr. Then there are two new Donkey Kong Showdown Rivet stages. Both of these stages have carrots instead of rivets that you gotta jump over. And these take two jumps each to remove. These new levels are absolutely amazing and a lot of fun to play. The next hack I recommend is called Donkey Kong Into the Dark. This one is a very unique challenge in that there are all the same Donkey Kong stages that you're used to. Only here, Donkey Kong shuts the lights off and you have to make it through the stage in the dark. Every few seconds or so, it'll give you a quick glimpse of what the stage looks like. So you've got to try and quickly memorize the path that you want to take through the level. The further you get into the game, the less often it'll end up showing you the stage. So eventually it does get pretty difficult. There are also some collectibles, such as a candle or a flashlight, that turn all the lights on for a couple seconds or so. I would say these aren't all that helpful when you first start, because the lights do flash pretty often, but the author says that the lights end up only flashing once every 8 seconds or so once you get far into the game, which would definitely be a lot more useful at that point. I recommend this one, it's such a great challenge. The next hack, and the last one I'm going to show you from Paul, is called Donkey Kong Reverse. This one has a very unique idea where you start the level up at the top of the screen by Pauline, and you have to make your way back down the screen and play through the stages backwards. The goal here is to get back down to the beginning of the stage and collect Pauline's heart. The rivet stage has a unique twist to it as well, as here in this stage, instead of removing the rivets, you've got to put them back in. I guess for some reason, seeing the building repaired like this makes Donkey Kong pass out. This one's weird, but a very unique concept that is definitely worth checking out. The next Donkey Kong hack I've got for you is called Donkey Kong Remix. It was created by John Sockmaster Kowalski, who had first ported the actual Donkey Kong arcade to the 1980s Tandy Color Computer 3 back in 2007. The Coco 3 is not well suited to run this type of game, and as such, this was an amazing feat John was able to accomplish. Around 2015, he revisited this project to incorporate new levels and gameplay. He released this game for the Coco 3 as Donkey Kong Remix. Now later, he went back and ported the game back to the arcade, which is now what most people know of as Donkey Kong Remix, which is what I'm going to show you today. The arcade version of Donkey Kong Remix was released in 2016 and features a few new stages, new bonus stages, plus reworkings of the original stages. Now in this video, I'll be showing you the Christmas edition of the game, because the author has chosen not to release the standard version of this one as a ROM file for emulators. Instead, it's being sold as a kit that you can plug into an original Donkey Kong arcade cabinet. 
However, there are Christmas and Halloween variations released that have all the same stuff as the vanilla release, except here with holiday-themed sprites. Merry Christmas, guys. Now, all of these stages in this game are pretty close to the original game, only with some new ideas thrown into the mix. For instance, the new barrel stage with gaps in the floor and a really cool spring that launches the barrels back up the stage. That is so cool. There's also an addition to the rivet stages, where once you pull the rivets out on both sides, it actually causes the girders to collapse and fall. This is interesting because these falling girders can crush the bad guys, and it's even used as a game mechanic to open up parts of the level. For instance, in one of the new DK Showdown rivet stages, you've got to collapse the bottom two platforms first before you can use them as a platform to access the upper two rivets on the platform at the very top. Amongst the new levels in the game are three new bonus stages, which count how many enemies you're able to jump over and smash. Great for getting points. This is a fun game that really fits the remix name it was given. It feels a lot like the old game, only remixed with new ideas. This last Donkey Kong hack I want to show you today is called Donkey Kong 2 Jumpman Returns. This one's also known as D2K. It was created back in 2006 by Jeff Kolsicki, and like DK Remix, it was released as an upgrade for an original Donkey Kong arcade cabinet. In D2K, there are four new stages, along with the original four, some which have been modified. It also features a few new cutscenes that are very well made. The first new stage is called the Foundry, where you'll have to make it past some fire pits and motorized beams. It is a very challenging stage, where you'll have to time out how you drop from beam to beam to make it past these. The second new stage is called the Refinery. The object of this stage is to dodge the fireballs and run over all the safety valves and stop the flow of gas to the top of the screen, which puts out the fire that blocks you from getting to Pauline. There are several elevators you'll have to hop to and from to navigate through this board. It's an incredibly fun stage and a very good challenge. The next new level here is called the Incinerator. This stage starts you out on a conveyor belt leading to an incinerator. You've got to make your way up the conveyors, dodging pies and springs, to the top half of the screen where you've got to collect hearts. These hearts appear throughout the stage, and for each one you grab, it goes up on the scale up top, weighing it down and allowing you to access higher parts of the stage. It's a pretty cool idea. The fourth new stage is called the Mixer, and on this stage, you've got to get up on this conveyor belt, hopping over the pies, and with absolute perfect timing, make your way under the mixer. This is just about the most challenging part of this game. This part is insane. It is truly meant for advanced Donkey Kong players. Ultimately, this is what I consider to be the absolute best when it comes to Donkey Kong hacks. It's got just about everything you want from a DK hack. New stages, new gameplay mechanics, new cutscenes, good difficulty. This is a quality game that respects the original DK formula. I can't recommend it enough. If you want to play any of these hacks for yourself, I would recommend the HB MAME emulator. It's a version of MAME that was created specifically for running homebrew or ROM hack arcade games. It really makes it easy just to drop your ROMs in the folder and away you go. The normal version of MAME wasn't really meant for hacks like these, so it takes a bunch of messing around to get them going. HB MAME is amazing when it comes to this, and it's what I used for making this video. If you want to play any of the Paul Goes hacks, he has a website called DonkeyKongHacks.net where you can play all of these right there in your web browser. Couldn't be easier. And if you want to check out the actual arcade upgrade boards, I'll put links to those in the description. I hope you enjoyed this look at some of the more impressive Donkey Kong hacks out there. You know, arcade hacks don't really get as much attention as console hacks, so I'm happy to shine a light on some of the more impressive ones here. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. I don't have a schedule for my videos, so make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.